Hey friends, just got back from the outside. It's freezing cold. Today, I wanted to show you a new sling that I've been testing out for the last month or so. It is the TomTok Explore. Let's check this out because this bag is awesome. It may just be the best bag you can buy for under $50. Let's talk about the sling. So this is the Explore sling from TomTok. It's a seven liter sling, and I think it fits somewhere between your pockets or a small carry bag and a backpack. And I think that's the sweet spot. It's seven liters, it's got a bunch of different pockets, elasticized, zipped pockets that you can carry all kinds of gear and organize it safely and effectively, and you can carry it efficiently. Speaking of carrying things efficiently, let's talk about why you might carry a sling, right? It's it's somewhere between your pockets and a backpack. We all know that. So I can't carry an iPad mini in my pockets, but it's definitely too large of a device for, uh, too small of a device for a backpack. So with that being said, this, that's where the sling comes in. And I might wear a sling over a backpack, not just for carry capacity, but for carry efficiency, right? If you're somebody who works in an urban environment or lives in an urban environment, or you're going to a place where there's large crowds of people, or you're utilizing public transportation, or you're taking an airplane ride, or something where you don't wanna to have to manage a large cargo solution, the sling is perfect. Now, with all that being said, what makes a sling a good bag? Well, let's go over the features of the TomTok Explorer sling because this is the best sling you can buy for under $50, in my opinion. And I have all kinds of slings from all kinds of high-end companies. This is by far the most budget-friendly option I've been able to find that allows me to organize all my gear neatly, effectively. It's all safe and it looks good. Let's go with the fit. The fit is nice. So I'm six feet tall and this bag fits me very well. There is plenty of strap to make this a larger <laughs> carrying bag. If you're somebody who is either a larger person or you have a lot of layers or other gear on, this is great. It does have an elasticized strap management here, which is nice. I find myself putting this on and just pulling the whole thing down like this and it tightens everything up as well as the strap management. Pulls it all the way to the side. So you don't have anything flopping around. It's nice and clean other than my keys, which I have hanging off the edge of my sling. We'll get into that as well. It doesn't leave any gaps in between and it sits securely on your back. Usually I wear it right around here or so and I've, I've been able to run with it as well as climb into the, in and out of my car with it, no problems whatsoever. Uh, the other opportunity that you find with a sling that you don't find with a backpack is how you work with the sling. So in an urban environment, if I need access to something, I don't have to take, take my, my sling off my back to access what I'm doing. So I can just grab it and here it is. Now most well-made slings have a quick access pocket like the Explorer sling here from TomTok where you can go ahead and access things you might need while you're walking. The sling never has to leave your body, making it much more efficient. There are plenty of places in the city where you either don't want to set your gear down or you don't want to stop walking in. And so you just do it while you're walking and it makes it so much more efficient. It's a much easier way to work. So with that being said, the fit and finish on this bag, as far as how it fits on you and how they finished off the cable management, the padding is really nice here. You can see there's a large Duraflex buckle that sits right over your sternum that is very well padded. And that's important because the pain points typically for slings are on your sternum and just over your shoulder here, depending on how it sits, sometimes they ride up. This one is designed so that it just sits kind of evenly on your back and you don't have to worry about it. Let's take a look at the features of the bag. I do like the quick release function. I use it a lot, way more than I thought I would. Especially if you have a jacket with a hood on it, you can just unclip this and it comes right off so you don't have to take your jacket off or fight this over your hood. <sighs> Let's start with the outside of the bag. The outside of the bag is corridor fabric and like a TPU Teflon style material that's waterproof. It does have a front pocket here that is, like I said, a side oriented zip, but it can also be accessed from a vertical carry, no problem whatsoever. And sliding the bag around, on, you see on either side here, it does have these nice uh, seat belt style loops. And these loops are handy because they allow you to attach different things. I've been using this for my keys, which is pretty obvious here. You can just take these on and off. It's, it's a really nice, quick, convenient place for me to have to grab my keys. Now, as you can see, the bag is not that big in terms of how large of a, you know, of a carry this is over a backpack, but you'd be surprised at what you can fit in here. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a better idea of what the sling bag look like, looks like. So I'm sorry for cutting off my head here. I'm still here. However, I wanna bring the focus to this bag because I think this is just amazing. So let's start with the outside of the bag. 
The outside of the bag is this wonderful Cordura fabric with a TPU Teflon style front and bottom. That's gonna protect all your gear from rain that's dropping over the bag. And it's just a little bit more abrasion resistant should you bump into something. Um, you're not gonna have to be worried about that. On the front of this, we do have that easy access pocket here that I talked to you about. It runs the entire length of the front of this Teflon material all the way to the base of the bag here. So you do get a good eight inch section where there's a nice pocket. Inside this pocket, I have been keeping some gum, some Advil, an extra pair of hand warmers because it is getting really cold out, a pen that I usually use for signing things, some uh, dental floss cleaners, I really like these, and a bottle of hand sanitizer because pandemic. And the last thing I carry on this is my key fob for my uh, apartment complex. Now this does, it is built into the bag. It has a wonderful little lanyard here with a fully metal clip that you can keep your keys on. Constructed very well. And that's what I keep in this pocket. This is a great quick reach pocket. It's also good for sunglasses. It's good for gloves or anything you want to carry that you need quick access to. Now these side loops here are great. They A, allow you to grab this and pull it around your body so that you can access the sling while you're still wearing it. But they also give you a really convenient place to keep your keys. So I usually take my keys and I clip them onto the sling and I just know where they are. And I have them when I switch from one car to another because I have a company car. Um, more or less, this comes off and I don't have to worry about where my keys are. They also allow for attachment points. You can slide different things through here. Uh, you could go anywhere from hiking poles to, I suppose, an ice axe if you were on some kind of Tom Talk adventure. Let's go around to the side of the bag. There are no water bottle pockets on the outside of this bag, but there is a dedicated water bottle pocket on the inside of the bag here. The bag does have a nice padded handle here that has bar stitching on the top. It is very adequate for carrying the bag and grabbing it. I find myself actually using this a lot because I toss this inside of a larger bag a lot of the times and it's just nice. The strap on this has a lot of padding. It, like I said, it does cover the pr pressure point on the buckle, which is nice. And it goes all the way up to the back of the sling here. You can see it is sewn in with this here. Very nicely connects into the framework of the bag, which I really like. The padding does go all the way through. It's a mesh padding and it continues on to the back of the bag. It does have an air channel here and as well as another mesh pad here for the back of your bag. So this is going to be a good option if you're somebody who's carrying this on a hot day or you're carrying this with a lightweight fabric. It's plenty of, there's plenty of padding on here. So this is very comfortable to carry. I find that no matter how I load out this bag on the inside, the back remains relatively flat and I don't have to worry about it. And you'll see just how much I have in here. I have a lot of stuff in here. There is also a hidden pocket in the back here. I have been keeping some wet wipes, but this is a great pocket if you are traveling for a COVID vaccination card and especially a passport or a thin wallet if you don't want people having access to that. Once you're wearing this on your back, you don't even have access to this pocket. It's the most secure way to carry something on this particular sling. Now, down here, you can see that you can carry this bag on either shoulder. It has a D hook on either side, so you can lock it in and carry it however you want. It's also on a swivel, so even if you kind of do it backwards, as soon as you straighten it out, pull the elastic tab down, you now have it perfectly lined up. So it makes using the bag really simple. Going to the main compartment in the bag, you're gonna see just how much we can fit here. So let's start off with how I use this bag. I carry this bag daily on my adventures. So I carry my ZV-1 in a cage. <clears throat> I also carry a full-size Yeti coffee mug. I carry my iPad mini with a uh, case and the Apple Pencil attached to it. On the inside here, I carry, oh, there it is. <laughs> I carry an Apple AirTag that just could not wait to be in the video. And <clears throat> another cable for my phone. This is a quick reach cable here. I have also been carrying <clears throat> this little cable management case from Alpaca. And I keep all of my cables in this so that I can throw it from bag to bag if you guys wanna see something on this 
you guys can leave it down in the comment section below. So let's take a look at the inside of the TomTok bag. So looking at the main wall here, <clears throat> we have one large mesh pocket that goes all the way just to the, just to the bottom of the bag, but it's suspended about an inch off the bottom of the bag. We then have a zipper pocket here <clears throat> that goes all the way across the width of the bag. And this runs about four and a half to five inches deep. It also does have a nice zipper pull and a YKK zipper. TomTalk does not cheap out on any of the zippers in the bag. And here we have a nicely padded sleeve. It will fit up to an 11 inch iPad. If you try to put the iPad Pro with a case on it, uh, it will fit if you put the iPad Pro 11 inch model, the newest ones with the magic keyboard on them, it is very tight, but it will fit in here. And it is suspended off the bottom of the bag so that if you were to drop this for some reason, you would have impact protection for your iPad in this sling for $49. And right now I believe it's on sale, close to 15% off. The last time I looked at it on Amazon was roughly $42.99. It's probably the best value sling right now on the market. On the other side of the sling, we have a bottle pocket here, which will fit this bottle, which is not by any means a small bottle. I have huge hands, and this is the size of the bottle. I can't even grab the whole thing. That will actually fit into the water bottle pocket. It also has another mesh pocket here that's just a small, quick, convenient grab pocket. And I keep my AirTag, the phone cable, and just a little SD card reader it is a USB type C and that is just a quick grab. So if I want to take some photos from my ZV-1 and then put them into the iPad, I can do that. That is basically what I've been carrying inside the TomTalk sling. Now, like I said, TomTalk has a great sale going on right now. They have roughly 30% off on certain items, up to 30% off. TomTalk is having a great sale right now. It's up to 30 percent off on some of their items, 30 percent. These are going to make fantastic Black Friday and Christmas gifts because you can get them for a lot of people. And I would be interested if I was somebody who owned a company, if I could bulk buy these and have them, you know, stamp my logo on these things because these are fantastic. Some of their products, like the 14 inch briefcase that they have are absolutely amazing. And I'm going to bring a review for that as well. So stay tuned. But check these guys out on Black Friday. I'm going to put the links in the description below. OK. I don't want to. I don't want to say this too loud because I don't want too many people to hear this. But these are these are it. If you're going to get somebody really any kind of tech gadget for Christmas, you should probably get them one of these too, because they can carry it and it'll look good and they'll love it. And we all love new stuff. So this is basically it. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down in the section below. This sling was provided to me by TomTalk. TomTalk, I really appreciate the opportunity to, to review your products. They seem extremely well built for the money like it's unusual to find a product in this segment that is this well built but it's 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 affordable i mean especially nowadays where everything is going up in cost you guys have managed to keep your your cost down and you're you know you're in my opinion you're putting out a really good product so it, it's really nice it, just even the attention to detail like on the slings here if you notice like the zippers are garaged and so you won't get water inside the zippers which is uh just handy, you know what I mean? You don't find this on, on bags like this. So if you guys um, are interested in this, um, I will probably be doing a giveaway of some sort from TomTalk, hopefully in the future, um, either on my own or with them as a partner. And um, I think this might be a strong contender. So don't forget if you wanna enter into something like that <clears throat> and you wanna get more news and updates on that, go to Alpha Artisan on Instagram and just subscribe to that Instagram account and then Leave me a comment about what product you like from Tom Talk the best, and I'll review it, and then we'll most likely be doing a giveaway. So until then, just enjoy the holidays. Stay safe. Take it easy.